So uh, what contributions can a, can a rapper and citizen make to climate change awareness? Rap songs, right? They're telling us we're standing on a precipice and we need to convert the global economy and make it emissionless and those emissions are caused by every single one of our jobs, like every one of us contributing carbon emissions to the smog. For instance, if I write a rhyme trying to describe climate change and it's hot so it catches on, pretty soon someone's going to fly me someplace to perform it and the appeal of that is enormous. It's not an option for me to turn down work for global warming because I make it hot. People say my rhymes are dope. I twist words until they're unrecognizable. I make it hot. I make it heasy for sheezy. So hot, even climate change skeptics will believe me. I make it hot, like the temperature it needs to be before the Tea Party will believe the IPCC. I make it hot. I liquefy the Greenland ice sheet. Seven meters of sea level rise. That'll do nicely. And yeah, humans are adaptable and we can toughen up, but that response ignores people who feel like it's already tough enough. Make a list of countries that nobody visits as a tourist. They have low carbon emissions. The richest inflicted this on the poorest. We did it by heating our houses and feeding our spouses and flying and driving places and having no patience for power outages. The Pope calls it antipocentric. He calls it obnoxious, but I got work to do and work takes energy to accomplish and I make it hot. Yeah, turn up the heat on the crowd. You make it hot too though, so don't try to be weaseling out. We make it hot, hot like the African sun, like the Paleocene, Eocene thermal maximum. I make it hot, mm, feel that bass when it vibrates. Hot like the permafrost releasing methyl hydrates. Hot, yeah, like a planet with low albedo, like me rocking a trench coat on a beach instead of a speedo. Hot with no apologies, but still I'm feeling a lot of grief for the impact my lifestyle has on the planet's ecology. My carbon footprint is bigger than crypto. Cryptozoologies, I'm talking Loch Ness monstrous, so I'm not at peace because the aggregate effect of every decision I'm making is tragic, but I can't just quit. They say that we're carbon emission addicts, but that's just glib. You want me to live in poverty abject, and if I did, what happens to greenhouse gases on average? If I quit and you don't, it's still hell in a handbasket, a traffic jam with no plan of action. Fantastic, this is a classic arms race that we're trapped in. It's ominous, self-interested party He's trapped in a tragedy of the commons and the problem is caused by our collective emissions of carbon but the person who emits is not the person emissions are harming so it's a failure of the market because everyone is incentivized to pollute as much as they can get away with and catch a free ride so it's no surprise to see global emissions on the rise when the cost of burning fossil fuel is externalized it's effectively subsidized it's paid for by the victims of the eventual climate impacts that are caused by our emissions and Bill McKibben and The Guardian have been targeting investments like dirty energy is the new tobacco, so keep your distance from anybody making a profit off of fossil fuels. Cool, I'm down with the boycott. I'm just boycotting myself too, cause I make it hot, hotter than refugees. Picture a hot hundred million displaced Bangladeshis. I make it hot, yeah, I cause a heat wave. How about nine degrees hotter than the hottest ones these days? I make it hot, I spit flames, rap metaphors, Fours, a five alarm blaze consuming the last redwood forest. I make it hot. What if I make it six degrees? That would cause the extinction of 40% of species. Hot. So what are we left with? A speeding train with no brakes? Some kind of a death wish? A scientific consensus that we're standing on a precipice and a population with no idea of how to reduce their emissions? Some people do offset their footprint voluntarily with the milk of human altruism, hope, faith, and charity, but that's not gonna cut it. Look, it's not counterproductive, but we got a global carbon budget and it's globally busted and there are hundreds of gigatons that we would have to offset. You might as well donate your piggy bank to the national debt. I ain't got no spare change to donate to carbon offsetting. I don't even want to calculate my footprint. I find it upsetting. It's like the medieval Catholic church indulgence selling. If you get a Big Mac and a Diet Coke, your belly is still swelling. But here's what I'm willing. I'd be willing to pay a tax like a fee that's calculated against my carbon impacts and globally harmonized to switch incentives around, make sure most of the carbon stays safely under the ground, but I'm not gonna pay it.
Not unless you pay it too. That way I can be sure that you'll do what you say you'll do. How about everyone has to pay it? No free riders allowed. No international pack with the US or India or China left out. Yeah, you can either invest it in programs or mitigation or dividend it back to me. But either way, I won't be happy until they're carbon taxing me. Because then I can make it hot without feeling a chill. I'm just sick of this feeling of guilt. Killing my high when I'm feeling a thrill. So I make it hot. Yeah, I get your emotions aroused. If we don't get those hot, we won't keep the oceans down, so let's make it hot. People, let's turn up the heat on polluters trying to catch a ride on all the rest of us for free. I make it hot on the mic and in my social life when I agitate for my friends to agitate for a carbon price. That's how you make it hot. Thank you. I, I supposed to do a fist bump, I think. Right, right. <laughs> Wow, that was, that was worth the price of admission, shall we say.